ओके हेलो एवरीवन आई वेलकम टू ऑल इन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन सुपर कंडक्टिविटी इन दिस लेक्चर सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस टॉपिक्स दिस टॉपिक्स आर वेरी मच एसेंशियल फॉर बीएससी बीटेक एमएससी एमटेक एंड वेरियस एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन इन आर लास्ट सिक्स क्लासेस वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड दिस टॉपिक्स अप टू सिल्स बी इफेक्ट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन टूडे क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस BCS theory on superconductivity and energy gap. Okay, so let us start. So these are the topics we have been already discussed: Meissner's effect, London equation, variation of London penetration depth, critical magnetic field, Sills B effect, corresponding numerical. Now we are going to discuss BCS theory on superconductivity. Let us discuss BCS theory on superconductivity. Here BCS stands for Braden, Cooper, and Sipper, three physicists. On the base of their name, this theory named as BCS theory, which is given in 1957. This theory based on electron lattice electron interaction. How it is that we are going to discuss with animation. For that we consider a lattice, homogeneous lattice, regular arrangement of ions or atoms. These are the positive ions. Okay. Now let us consider an electron approaches a positive ion core. This electron approaches this core. Then what will happen? These are the positive ions. So it will be interacted with this electron. With the help of Coulombic interaction, same thing I have been written. It will be attracted due to Coulombic interaction. As the result, lattice will be distorted, which in turn increases the density of positive charge. How it is here? You can see when electron will reaches over here, then due to Coulombic interaction or attraction, these positive ions will be attracted towards the electron like this. Due to which lattice distortion happen? Due to this lattice distortion, density of positive charges increases in that particular area. Okay. Now, consider a second electron comes in the way. It fails. That means the second electron failed an attraction due to distortion of this lattice. Why? Because due to distortion of this lattice, density of positive charges increases. That means due to this increase of positive charge, this second electron will be attracted. Right. This can also perceive that the two electrons interacted indirectly via lattice distortion or the phonon field. So we can say in this way that the first electron and second electron interacted with each other. With this lattice distortion or phonon field, what is the meaning of phonon field? Phonon field means when a lattice, uh, when when atom in a lattice is going to be distorted by some distance. After that, again it will be relaxed to its mean position and vibrate its mean position like this. A atom will vibrate its mean position with Quantized, quantized energy, that is called the phonon. So when the first electron will interact at this lattice, these lattice distortion will oscillate with will oscillate with a particular frequency or energy. That oscillation is called as phonon. So hence, this is also called as phonon field. Only for that I written the phonon field. This type of interaction is called electron lattice in electron interaction, whatever I have been written initially, right? In another angle, we can be viewed that first electron attracted the second one via lattice or phonons, and both are moved moved with a pair, which is called as the Cooper pair. Here you can see when the first electron will move ahead. In this lattice, then it will distorted the core. When this first electron come to this core, again this core will be distorted, and this core will be attract 
the second electron likewise the first electron indirectly attracts the second one and they both moved as like a pair it seems to like they both moved in this lattice as like a pair which is called as the cooper pair okay about phonon already i uh, discussed here phonons means is energy is the energy uh, that first electron to lattice is the energy given by the first electron to the lattice so here you can see when the first electron came at this position this first electron given some momentum to this uh, positive ions due to which these positive ions is going to be oxidate with a with a discrete energies that is called as the phonon okay same thing i have been written and that same whatever the first electron uh, energy will be given to the lattice same energy will be gained by the second electron here i written first electron given by the first electron to the lattice and again that energy or momentum gained by the second electron simply it is called quantized lattice vibrational vibrational energy or phonon okay now we are going to analyze how this interaction electron lattice electron interaction due to which cooper pair formed in the lattice due to which the superconductor decreases its resistance that we are going to discuss in the next slide here this is the animation you can see cooper pair moves inside the lattice so when the first electron interacted the lattice distorted and the second electron uh, attracted by the distorted lattice and both the electron moved with a pair okay same thing uh, i have been written the two electron by the means of phonon exchange dominate the usual repulsive coulombic interaction in general we know that electron and electron both are negative they have to repel with each other but here it seems that they are attracted with each other due to exchange of phonon energy by the mean mean of a phonon exchange dominate the usual repulsive coulombic interaction at superconducting state or below tc this happens this things happens below tc two such electrons which interact attractively and formed a pair in the phonon field is called cooper pair whatever we have been discussed due to this what is going to happen when the electrons flow in the form of pairs the probability of scattering is reduced you just imagine a single electron will be moved it is scattering the probability will be increased it can be interacted with this atom again interacted with this atom like this but when they are going to move with a pair the interaction or the scattering is going to probability of scattering is to be reduced and we know that if scattering will increases then the resistance also increases of a conductor so here as probability of scattering will be reduced as the result resistance reduced largely it, it, it happens the resistance reduced large that means conductivity increases highly which is called superconductivity okay here one point you have to remember this is very very important this cooper pair is considered as a one type of particle this this is a pair this this this, this con considered as a particle this pair considered as a particle which are which is a boson but we know that electron is a fermion having half integral spin but here boson means integral multiple spin okay so this point you have to remember cooper pair cooper pairs are bosons not fermions now another point you, are, you also uh, remember the paired electrons are not scattered and can maintain their coupled motion up to a certain distance which is a material property for one material may it will be uh, one or uh, 10 angstrom that cooper pair without scattering they moved 10 angstrom distance for another material it may be 20 angstrom okay so from this point to this point suppose 20 angstrom the cooper pair moved without scattering this length 
is called the coherence length okay this is another one mark short question okay now we are going to go for the vector model of bcs theory or conservation of energy or momentum or quantum mechanical explanation here you can see the first electron having the wave vector k1 when interacted with the lattice lattice gained the wave vector or momentum k okay because we know that momentum is nothing but h cross h cross k it depends upon the wave vector momentum depend upon the wave vector okay so k1 is the initial wave vector of uh, first electron interacted with the lattice and the induced phonon having wave vector k so rest of the wave vector of the electron 1 after collision will be how much k1 minus k so after leaving this core so initially it has k1 when interacted with this lattice core and moved away from this lattice core the wave vector will be k1 minus k and this k is gained by this lattice wave vector k gained by this lattice okay and phonon this phonon this wave like picture represents the induced phonon having wave vector k now when the second electron will interacted this phonon here second electron suppose having wave vector k interacted with this phonon then the second electron will gain the momentum or wave vector and when it will leave this core when the second electron will leave this core that second electron will gain this wave vector so second electron wave vector will be k2 plus k okay here you can see electron second electron absorbs the phonon here and the wave vector will be k2 plus k so this is all about the vector model of bcs theory okay so if this question will be asked in your exam it will ask for six mark so you have to draw this figure perfectly write these points only no need to write extra okay and draw this figure also this is enough for the six mark now we are going to go for energy gap represented as eg at superconducting state come to this figure here this figure represents the metal in the normal state normal state here metal means a superconductor one superconductor suppose a metal which is the superconductor in normal state that means in the temperature greater than that of what you see here the metal in mixed state that means in the temperature in between zero kelvin and transient temperature and metal in the superconducting state this is also uh, also one superconducting state okay superconducting state but this is pure superconducting state because it is at zero kelvin so when a superconductor passed through a temperature variation then what is happens it's bad here i written the points i am going to read one by one and explain the, the, the these points carefully not watch in superconducting state energy gap is formed around the fermi energy level that is your ef which is separates the lowest excited state and ground state first i am going to explain if we are going to consider a metal simple metal we know this is the conduction band and this is the valence band overlapped with each other and this is the fermi energy level right but when it will be in the superconducting state superconducting state this one then a energy gap will be formed this is the energy gap eg is going to be formed and this distance this distance is del and this distance is del so total distance eg is your 2 delta here this gap uh, separates the lowest excited state and ground state lowest excited state means this one this state this state is the lowest excited state and this is the ground state this energy gap separates these two states okay okay this gap represents the absence of electronic state so we will see this gap in this gap there is no states no electronic states because cooper pair form which are bosons we know that uh, 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 conduction band uh, if we are going to consider conduction band that means 
the energy states filled with electrons but if we are going to consider cooper pair which are not fermions which are bosons so how we can say that these are filled with states okay so due to which a gap is going to be generated which separates the lowest excited state and ground state and this gap here this gap represents the absence of electronic states due to cooper pair the electrons present in excited states that means here whatever the electron present in this state behave as normal electrons the electron present below the excited states behave as super superconducting electrons that means the electrons which are below below this band or below this excited state these are these electrons is called as the superconducting electrons the energy gaps energy gap is a material property which varies with temperature here you can see if uh, we are going to consider a temperature in between 0 kelvin and tc the gap will be this much and if we are going to decrease the temperature again the gap will be increased this is the maximum increase of of the energy gap for a particular material the process is same this gap will be vary from material to material okay because it is a material property due to the presence of this gap the importance of the uh, gap is, this is mo most most important due to this presence uh, due to due to the presence of this gap the superconductors respond to high frequency high frequency electromagnetic radiations of a particular frequency uh, high electromagnetic radiation of a particular frequency i have to correct it somewhat just wait here i have been corrected due to the presence of this energy gap the superconductors respond to high energy electromagnetic radiations of a particular frequency this is the material property okay suppose we are going to consider gallium it responds to one frequency another superconductor will be respond another particular frequency okay uh, here we consider one example gallium which eg is around 10 to the power minus 4 electron volt likewise for other superconductor the energy will be vary accordingly that superconductor will respond to a particular frequency okay so this is all about energy gap at superconducting state by bcs theory and this is the bcs theory which is based upon electro electron lattice electron interaction in detail with animation we have been discussed so so i suggest that you just go through this video make the note for your exam and ready for the next class next class we are going to discuss isotopic effect on superconductivity or variation of critical temperature with isotope okay thank you so much for watching this video thank you